Hi everyone, this is Vi from Sparkling Faces and today I'm going to be making a video on blending. Now, I know a lot of people say that they have issues blending Wolf or Diamond Vex colors. Um, so this is just a quick tutorial to show you how I do it. Now, first I'm going to be using yellow and green. So what you're going to do is you're going to double load your sponge. You want to make sure that your paint is not too wet and not too dry. So yellow and green. Okay, and I'm just going to do my forehead area. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is dab on the paint where you want it. And then do the second color. Okay, as you can see, it's kind of trying to blend itself already. Okay. And what you're going to do is on the lighter color, you're going to go halfway into the paint, about right there. All right. And what you're going to do is put the halfway point into the green and dab. So you don't want to put all the yellow into the green, just halfway. Okay, so there you have a really nice blended yellow and green. Now, the reason why you don't want it too wet is because when you put it on the face, it's going to look splotchy and it's not going to give you really good coverage. Um, what you can do in that case is just get some more paint um, or you can have an extra sponge and just dab it onto your extra sponge. I actually use that a lot um, for my brushes and for extra sponges. Um, I just keep it next to all of my paints. and. When I first put it on the face, if I see that it's too wet, just squish it on there and it'll absorb some of that excess water on your sponge. So that was pretty easy. So next I'm going to show you um, one that you probably use a lot already, which is yellow and orange. Now one of the other things that you can do is instead of using... Um, these are both flat colors. These are just their regular classic colors. Um, the metallic colors actually blend a lot better. And what you can do is use one metallic and one flat color and it'll give you an even prettier blend and it'll sparkle a little. So that's always another option. But okay, so I'm just gonna dab my yellow on. And then I'm going to dab my orange on. Now, the reason why you want to keep this part right here dry is because, um, not dry, but like it doesn't have any paint on it. The reason why is when you dab it on and you move over into the second color a little bit, that dry section actually helps you blend the colors as you can see with the yellow and orange. Um, now if you don't like the blend, just use the technique I used at the top and you're going to put halfway into the yellow into the orange. Okay. And just keep dabbing. And that'll give you a nice blend. Just like that. So I'm going to show you with uh, metallic gold how that would look and how easier it is. So I'm going to use metallic gold and green. Okay, so I'm dabbing the gold 
on my face. And then I'm gonna go back in with the green. Okay, so that gives you a really pretty blend as well. Now, as you can see, that was a lot easier than the one at the top. I think the metallic colors have a little bit creamier consistency and that's why it makes them a little bit easier to blend. So now I'm going to try a three color blend for you and we're going to use yellow, teal, and blue. So we're just going to get the yellow and I'm going to double load it with my teal. I'll do it right here. And as you can see, my brush, my brush, my sponge is a little too wet. All you do is turn it over, tap, and it'll pick up some of that. I'm just going to get more paint too. Okay, there we go. A lot better. Okay. And then I'm going to put the teal on. I'm going to use the dry middle section to just blend it just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to go back over it with the yellow to just blend it a little bit more. Now one of the things that you'll notice is that I'm blending my colors right away. Uh, if you let them dry, they do not blend that well at all. So you want to try to do it as soon as you can. You want to try to blend the colors before they dry. So I'm extending the teal out because I'm going to be adding blue right here on my jawline. I'm just going to get another sponge for that. But with dark colors, you really don't need that much. So that's how much blue I had. And once again, I'm using the dry middle section to just blend it into the teal. Okay, so I'm using my teal again. I'm just going to go over the area where the two colors meet. So now you have the blend. So there you go. That's how you blend colors. Um, once again, try to do it while the paint is still wet and use your dry middle section to help blend the two colors together. And if your paint is too wet, just flip it over, dab it on there, and it'll soak up some of that. All right. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and um, I'm always looking for requests. So let me know if you have any requests as well. All right. I will talk to you all soon. Bye.